Hey guys, I am going to um, show you how to do this cool snowball craft project, painting project. Uh, so you should have received in your little package um, a canvas, paint palette, two brushes, and some paints. Uh, you're going to need a um, just like a go cup with some water in it and a couple napkins or paper towels folded up and um, we can go ahead and get started. Uh, first we're going to start with our um, flat brush and we're going to go ahead and paint in the background. Now this is where there's a little bit of um, leeway as far as the colors you choose. You can uh, kind of go with uh, whatever you want. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, white and blue together and just kind of uh, lighten it up. And maybe we'll throw a little bit of the green in. Why not? So I'm going to scoop out some white, put it in the palette. And we're going to just make a super light blue. because we just want the background to be subtle. So we got a super light blue, and then we're gonna rinse. Sorry about my arm. And do the same thing for the green. So scoop a little bit of the white in there. And some green, just a little bit. And so we got a very light green. Take a little bit more. That should do it. And um, I just kind of like to mix it up a little bit and just like just start somewhere. So um, we're just going to go through and paint around the entire snowball. And just do it kind of so it's um, a little blendy and a little abstract. It doesn't have to be perfect. And um, we can tuck those ribbons behind so they don't get painted. We're just kind of being really loose. I like to use that word a lot. Loose means just like not so rigid with... Um, rules or ideas or uh, where we're putting the paint so you want it to just be really fun and um, this is your project so it's totally up to you if you want to add a little bit more white put some little punches of white in there then do it. If you go over the lines, don't worry about it because we still have a lot to do. puddles and our drips I'm not being real um, particular with where the paint is going or how I'm doing it it's just really Told this part is totally up to you. The rest of the part you kind of have to pay attention, but this part is just kind of like do what you want. You can leave it white if you want. You could do a black background if you like, but um, I'm just going to do something really light and airy and fun and 
just a little base to um, pop off our snowball. And don't forget about the edges. The edges are really important. You want it to look finished. And if you run out of paint like I am doing right now, just uh, mix up a little bit more. able to stretch it out and just a little more touch of some white spots in here maybe some along the bottom and hit up our edges a little bit more in here. And just do that bottom edge just so that it looks really nice and finished. And the side here. squeeze in between that ribbon. Do a little bit more of that green. And our last edge. Looking good. Always make sure you rinse your brush. All right, you can go ahead and I say keep your paints closed until you're gonna use them because if you have like a spill, we don't want it to be everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and close those two and um, what we're gonna start with right now is everything that's white. So our cup, our spoon, and our straw. And um, the T and the U in the university emblem. So just take your white, you can take it straight out of the little paint pot. And this part might require more than one coat of white paint. So just kind of, um, do your first one lightly and come back and do your second coat. And don't worry about the um, lines. You'll still be able to see them enough so that um, you can put in your little detail marks, but um, you can paint right over those. And use the edge of your um, paintbrush to help you make a nice fine straight line. You always want to use the tool to its best ability so take advantage of those straight edges and what helps is if you hold your paintbrush like a pencil um, just makes it a little bit more comfortable in your hand. And we're just gonna Carefully go around some of those edges. And don't worry if you have some um, brush strokes. We like brush strokes. It's gonna give your painting some character. It's gonna look like you actually did something. All right, there's our bottom portion and then we're gonna do our straw and our spoon. And again, you can go right over those marks that I made. Just kind of a guideline so that you can see where we're going, where we're, the direction that we're headed. And always turn your canvas around so that it's benefiting you. And 
and again use the sharp edge of that brush to get a nice clean line. Sorry about that ticking in the background. That is my ceiling fan. And uh, it can be a little bit annoying. Now that I pointed it out, everybody's going to notice it. So sorry again. But this is a pretty quick painting. I think you'll be surprised at how um, fast it is actually is to complete. And how great they always seem to turn out so even if you think that you don't have any artistic ability this is always something that's going to turn out great believe me they always do and almost finished with that straw And then we're going to go back over with a second coat. That's good. Sorry about my terrible manicure, you know, manicure COVID style. You don't get one. So. <clears throat> I've been doing my own nails and uh, I'm missing my place, believe me. All right, I feel like that's pretty good. We can always come back a little bit later and hit it up once it's dried a little bit. I'm rinsing out that big brush and if you're finished using a brush um, go ahead and rinse it out and put it to the side we don't want that paint to dry on there okay and then I'm gonna use my small fine line brush and we're gonna go in and very carefully get that you and tea. And don't worry about being too perfect with this. We want it to look fun. It, I mean, it's not like photorealistic, right, guys? So you want it, you want it to be fun, a little bit whimsical. So we're just going to Get in those edges, those corners, and do a quick little line, a fill in, because we are going to outline this once it's all painted. I can't wait to see all of these finish. Now they're going to be awesome. Oh, I just noticed I fin I missed one section of the cup. See, this happens. Even even the professionals make mistakes. We forgot about the lip of the cup. And when I do the um, go along the edge that's kind of like the same color on color, I like 
like it to have a little bit of texture and like make a, a bit of a ridge, I guess, with the paint on the, along the edge so that it kind of gives you a little bit more definition of where those two colors, even if they're the same color, are um, coming together. last edge and we can move on to our snowball all right looks good so when we do our snowball um, I'm gonna go ahead and use our bigger brush again I'm going to go ahead and close that white because we're not going to be using that right now and open up our blue oh, and the green. There we go. So we got our blue, excuse me, our blue and our green. And if you want to do like a little sample on the side on like a piece of paper um, to kind of Practice blending, there we go, piece of paper. Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start one side with a solid blue, one side with the solid green, and we're gonna kind of blend them together in the middle. So when you do that, just think of, okay, we got, and then it's, it's gonna absorb the paint a little bit differently, but green and then when we come together in the middle we're just going to kind of like blend that together and then we can rinse and then maybe it'll blend together a little bit better if you rinse out your brush a smidge there we go add a little bit more blue to the other side and blend back into that green and that's kind of what we're going to be doing. There. So we get that good blue to green blend. And again, if it's not perfect, seriously, don't worry about it. This is supposed to be fun. So we're going to start with our blue. And just kind of carefully go around those edges and if you feel more comfortable using the small brush by all means you can use whatever brush you want so the top portion and if you want to make your snowball all blue and green you can totally do that so this top portion that I have is supposed to be condensed milk, and that's what we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do um, after this step. We're gonna fill in the condensed milk, and then as a final step, we're gonna put some of that sparkly, fun glitter over the top of the condensed milk. So at this point, you need to decide: do you want condensed milk, or do you just want a snowball, plain, straight up? So if you just want your snowball plain and straight up. Continue your blue all the way up to the top and um, don't worry about that second part. But I like condensed milk on my snowball, so this is how we're going to do it right now. And if you don't get the edges perfect at that top, don't worry about it because we can clean them up with that condensed milk beige so that's about where I want to come together with the green I'll rinse out my brush I'm going to come back with some green
And we're probably gonna need a, another like little filling coat of the blue and the green just so we get a nice nice solid coverage. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is blend those two together. And I'm gonna rinse. I'm gonna get some of that blue. And I'm gonna come back with the blue and just kind of work it in. The blue and the green together. again get some more of that green just a little bit at a time and just kind of work it back and forth until you're comfortable with it or until you like whatever you like oh no I got a little bit of blue on my cup but I'm not gonna worry about it maybe we'll turn it into a drip I'm not going to overwork that. I'm just going to kind of let it dry a little bit. Rinse out my flat brush, put it to the side, and grab my fine line brush. And we're going to fill in these drips. And then we're going to turn that one into a drip because it was a mistake. But nobody has to know it's a mistake. Now it's something going to be something cool. So just fill in that drip. We want to do the blue on the blue side and the green on the green side. And then that one in the middle, maybe we'll just make it blue and green. So this is a pretty quick uh, project, but it's nice to take a little brain break sometimes. I know school can be a lot, especially right now where you're just like, in front of the screen 24 seven, it's a lot. So you need those brain breaks. And this is a great one, super fun. Grab a couple friends, go in a common area and pull up my YouTube. There we go. I think I wanna give that drop a little bit more of a flick top with a little bit more movement. There we go. So this one, how am I going to do it? We're going to just wing it. that green on the other side all right looks cute and then let's not forget about our puddles of snowball juice um, you can use your small brush again for that and we want to do blue on one side, green on the other. And this is a not like, like if you go out of the lines, seriously, not a big deal. This is a little slush puddle. So like really it can be whatever you want it to be. We've got 
kind of blue. We got our green. And we're almost done with this. This is like so quick and fun and easy. And then before you know it, you'll have it on your wall. You can just use a little push pin or like a command hook. And again, you can um, push the paint in and give it a little bit more texture. I'll push, put it closer so you can see. It's nice to have a little bit of texture in that puddle paint. It'll dry and it'll really um, make a huge difference once it's all said and done. So I'm going to do a little bit more on this other side just so that it really looks like there's a lot of texture there. And then I'm going to take that same technique and go back into my snowball top and really uh, push that paint into the canvas and create some texture and depth. It's going to um, be a little bit thicker, so it's going to take a little bit longer to dry, but this dries pretty quickly and it will really make a difference. All right, and then with the green, we're gonna flip that around again. And just load that paintbrush up and just push that paint into the canvas. Kind of dab it around. And then when you get to the center part, you can always come back with a little bit of blue, come back with a little more green until you're happy with that blend in the middle. So cute. All right, we're gonna let this kind of dry a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to those drops. And then we're gonna move on to our school emblem. And we're going to keep using that small brush and we're going to fill in the center section with the green and I noticed that I missed the outside outline of white so we're going to come back after we finish this green and do another um do a coat of the white on in that little edge there and then we can come back and also do a second coat of that white in the um t and the u so just be really careful when you come around your letters and kind of have like a, a light touch on that brush and just really use the edge, the tip of it. Make jokes as you like. 
just the tip of the brush. <laughs> Getting there and then almost done. I think it's okay if it has a little bit of uneven coverage in the inside of here. If some parts are a little bit more light, some parts are a little darker. I think it's totally fine. All right, looks good. Rinse that brush out. I'm going to go ahead and close my green and my blue for now. Open that white back up. And then we're going to go ahead and get that around the, the emblem. Paint it white. And then do the inside of the... letters. Lost my train of thought. I'm just going to go over any um, spots that I can still kind of see a little bit of that pencil mark. So I know there's a line right down the center so that I could try and make sure that that was nice and even. A little too carried away. It looks good. All right. We're going to let this whole area kind of dry a little bit. And move up to the condensed milk section and I think I'm actually just gonna keep using that smaller brush because it's just gonna give me a little bit more control and um, I'm really gonna just kind of load it in there so just gonna go all the way around the rest of the white area that we haven't painted yet and I like to make a nice thick edge on um, with the paint so that it really looks like there's a lot of movement Press it in right all the way up to the edge. And go around your straw and you're going to go around your spoon and if you kind of 
paint in a little bit more than you wanted to, don't worry about it. We can come back with some white and clean that up. There's a lot of squeaks and ticks and this is a noisy space considering how quiet it is. Here everything, the chair, the fan. You can hear the dog's nails tap in on the ceiling. Alright, almost done. Looks good. All right. So we want that to dry. Rinse out our brush. Close that up. Open our white back up. And we're gonna do a second coat. Oh, I see I missed a spot already. See? I missed a little edge right in there. So I'm gonna open my paint back up. Fill that spot in that I missed. There we go. Great. And then we get that spoon nice and bright white so it really pops off of that background. And then we're going to come back with a little bit of. Um, some shadow with a very light gray that we're gonna mix and I'm gonna do some outlining so where I kind of went over right here I can just bring that back or I like to say we can rediscover that area dry and then go back to our bottom portion and then fill in wherever you feel like you need a little bit more coverage brighten it up clean up edges And now it's time to kind of finish up, add details, and we will be good to go. So what I want to do now is um, mix up a light gray so we can put in some shadow areas. And I'm going to just load that white into a... A um, into your paint palette. Rinse, and then just a little bit of black, like a tiny amount, because we just want to make a really, really light gray. That's perfect. So what we want to do is wherever there's kind of going to be 
a shadow or an overlap or where we want to create a little bit more detail we're just going to come and just kind of um, pull that in there I want to go all the way like not all the way but like three quarters to almost all the way I guess of that cup I'm going to go ahead and bring a couple streaks down on either side let's maybe go all the way down on this one just kind of pull it down a little bit we can always come back and add a little bit more white and um, a little along the bottom and then I also want to come down underneath on both of these little um, slush puddles on one side of the drips and underneath where this um, overlapping snowball is coming down just to kind of create a little bit of depth And again, if we go over, we can always clean up the edge with plenty of paint. So that looks good for the cup portion. And then I want to go ahead and do some in this spoon area. So just a little bit, just to show that there is an indention. And then open up that straw that hole back in we're going to hit the back side of that with a little bit of a shadow and maybe make a couple lines I'll put it closer so you can see what's happening there so we just made a little a few little lines where that straw is going to bend we brought in that hole and just a little swipe across the top and the back and then on the spoon we created some depth and then we're also going to do that in the handle of the spoon where it's going to come together we'll just pull that up and just Kind of give it a little bit of life. There we go. And now I'm going to kind of come back and um, kind of touch up that snowball edge a little bit where I went over with the gray. And then the last step, well, not the last step, but almost the last step is going to be coming in with your black and um, putting in all those details. So we want to bring that little swipe that we had right here with that black. And over, I'll oh, do this one first. This one, again, one stroke down, one stroke across. On the bottom, we had a little swipe across, maybe like a little squiggle if we want. Right here, we had like a little bit of a zigzag and pull down. So you're gonna start and just do like a little zigzag, pull. And then we have that going the opposite direction on the lip of the cup. So we're going to come and do a little zigzag, pull up, and then we're going to give that straw opening a little bit more definition with some black and just kind of pull it from the top down, just a small little like dash. We want to do some little 
lines at the bend and then lightly outline the snowball after we put those lines in our spoon too. So we had one line that kind of comes all the way across, it can be broken, that just shows the edge of that spoon where it starts to indent and then a little squiggle. Just why not? Because that's what was there. And then we have this edge here. Get some of that paint off. But we want it to be really fine and just like kind of barely touch it. So we have that spoon detail. And then we're just gonna just very kind of lightly come and do some barely outlines, kind of just kind of like some style marks, we'll call them. Just to add a little bit a fun detail. little bit is going to be outlining that outlining this um oh and we forgot about our straw we want to give that a little bit more interest oh and our little entry marks Now we're going to go all around our Tulane logo. And that's probably going to be like maybe the most um, detailed part because it's, it's, it's kind of small. So just very carefully and then with a very light touch, we just want to go all the way around. And then we're not worrying about being too perfect. We just want it to look, you know, like we know it's we know it's the logo. So we just want it to look fun and really light touch around those letters. You're like barely touching the paint or the um, canvas with that paint. And if you need to go back and just like touch up some of that white because you're not feeling it, then do it. Like I'm going to touch up this white right here because I just want it to be a little bit cleaner. So that's the black. We're done with the black. Now when after I touch up this little spot right here with the white, I'm going to come back with more white and do a bunch of highlights. So we want like this to look like it has like some little glistening shimmers to it. So we're going to add some spots and some highlights and we're going to add some dots and swipes to our, our um, drips so they really look like they're catching the light. And then you notice in the original drawing I had like some some little um like crinkles 
I guess we can call them, where the ice chunks would be from the snowball. I'm gonna put as many or as few highlights as you want in here. I think I actually am gonna come back with a little bit more black, even though I said that I wasn't. I am, because I wanna hit the side of that spoon a little bit. And I really want to reinforce that, that, um, there we go. Like those little chunky bits of ice that are underneath the flavoring and the condensed milk. You might also like you see stuff after you've already done it and you're like mm, you know what maybe I want a little bit more there or maybe I don't want any more there maybe I want more white here and um, that's why you got lots of extra paint so you can kind of do whatever you want This video is just kind of a guide. It's your guide to where you want your painting to go. So the last bit is putting that super fun glitter in and you can just put it up here or you can put it everywhere, wherever you want. Wherever you want it to be like a little bit sparkly. So there are some big chunks, there's little chunks and um, fine, it's fine and it has like some larger chunks in it. So dig down into that pot and pull them up. But I'm just kind of just dripping it on there so that it can just kind of dry on its own and get really sparkly and pretty. And plus some of this paint is a little bit wet still, so we don't want to try and overwork it or it'll get muddy. We don't want that to black to smear too much. So I think I'm also going to add some to my drips because why not give them a little bit of sparkle. and to these little puddles. I mean, really, if you want to put it all over your snowball, you totally can. It's your painting. All right. Feeling pretty good about that. So there you go. There's your two-lane snowball craft night project. I hope you had fun and um, come back and do another one. Thanks.